Hi guys, this is Neha and once again I welcome you all to our YouTube channel about technology. In this video tutorial, we'll be discussing about two types of data transmission method that is serial and parallel data transmission. And also we will discuss difference between these two types of transmission. So let us proceed with the video. Let us talk about serial transmission first. Well, we require data transmission so that data can be exchanged between two computers or between two peripheral devices. In serial transmission, data is transferred bit by bit and 8 bits, that is a byte, is transferred at once. Well, this transmission can be bidirectional and each bit has its clock pulse rate. That means every bit requires a clock cycle to get transmitted. Thus, 8 bit requires 8 clock cycle. To know beginning and end of the transmission with this 8 bit data, two more bits are added, that is, start bit 0 and stop bit 1. We refer them as parity bits. Serial transmission can be classified into two types asynchronous serial transmission and synchronous serial transmission. In asynchronous serial transmission, an extra bit is added to each byte so that arrival of a new byte is clearly identified. These extra bits are start bit 0 and stop bit 1. In synchronous transmission, no extra bit are added to bytes. Instead, data is transmitted in the form of frames that contain multiple bytes. To implement serial transmission, we require additional hardware at sending and receiving site that is able to convert data from serial to parallel mode and parallel to serial mode. Because inside a computer or a device, data is exchanged only through parallel transmission. The serial transmission is used for long distance communication. Now let us talk about the parallel transmission. In parallel transmission, several bits are transmitted in one clock cycle. Thus, it is the fastest way of communication as it uses several input and output line for communication. Inside the computer or a communication hardware, data is transmitted only through parallel transmission as they have parallel circuitry inside. Now, parallel transmission uses 25 pin port having 17 signal lines and 8 ground lines. Parallel transmission is mainly used for short distance communication. Now let us discuss some differences between serial and parallel transmission. In serial transmission, there is bit by bit transmission and each bit requires one clock cycle. However, in parallel transmission, multiple bits are transmitted in one clock cycle. Implementing serial transmission is economical whereas implementing parallel transmission is quite expensive. If we talk about the data rate, serial transmission transmits one bit in one clock cycle. However, the parallel transmission transmits eight bit in one clock cycle. Serial transmission is comparatively slower. However, parallel transmission is comparatively faster. The serial transmission is used for long distance communication. However, the parallel transmission is used for short distance communication. In serial transmission, only one communication channel is required. Whereas, in parallel transmission, n number of communication channels are required. Serial transmission requires conversion at the device. However, parallel transmission doesn't require conversion at the device. Example of serial transmission is communication between two computers in remote areas. Whereas, example of a parallel transmission is communication between computer and a printer. So this is all about serial and parallel transmission and their differences. For more details, you can refer our official website techdifferences.com. I had provided URL for the same in the description below. Please like and share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Till then, take a good care of yourself.